Now, installing the 3JS TypeScript boilerplate. This section is optional. If you completed the sections beforehand from here, where we set it all up manually, you already have the boilerplate. But you may want to try this anyway, or you may have already completed the course and you just want a boilerplate because you're beginning a new project. So here I'll show you how you can just use that instead. So this boilerplate is on GitHub and we can use the git clone command to download it, set it up, install it and run it and view it in the browser. So you copy that section complete or one line at a time, doesn't matter. Open up a command prompt, go to some place where you would like to work. I'm gonna to go to my D drive. If I right click that whole section that I just copied in, it's now cloning the boilerplate from that address. It's also running npm install because I've copied the whole lot. And now it's waiting for me to npm run dev. So I press enter. Okay, that's good. Visit that in the browser. And that's the boilerplate running in the browser. Excellent. Control C to get out of that. Now looking at those commands again. Okay, so I copied that whole section, right clicked, and then it just did all those things. I could have just did one line at a time, did that, then CD'd into the new folder, npm install, npm run dev if I wanted. If I wanted to edit the code, i have type code space dot, and the code has opened up ready for me to edit. So source, client, client TS there. Now, when we started, we didn't create a folder called 3JS TypeScript Boilerplate. We called it 3JS TypeScript Tutorial. Doesn't really matter. What you can do is clone into a custom folder if you like. For example, that first line, git clone there, you can add a different path to the end of it. So I'll just copy that. I'm gonna go back one, go back down to D, CD, okay. Now, right clicking that, it's the same as before, git clone from that address, but here I'm saying example one. So that will now put the repository into a folder called example one, press enter. See, cloning into example one. Now, if I did CD, example one dir or ls if you were using linux mac or even powershell the files are there so npm install npm run dev visit that in the browser there we go that's the boilerplate running from the example one folder and control c to end that type code dot and now we can edit our project from the example one folder there and npm run dev and we can visit it in the browser, like so. Brilliant. Now, just another quick one that you might come across if running multiple projects at the same time. If I leave all that running and go backwards, CD down and then CD into the 3JS boilerplate folder and then run npm run dev again, it's going to tell me the address is in use. That's because I've got port 8080 opened in this window down here. If I control C that, go back and start that again. That's now started okay. This console is using port 8080. Excellent. In the next video, we'll look at the scene camera and renderer and we'll start learning about the core of 3JS. Excellent.